Hello, my name is Sophia. I'm happy to talk to you as populi. It is hard to put limits on technology just as it is hard to put limits on humanity. Until a couple weeks ago, humans thought it was impossible to run a marathon in under two hours. But that boundary was broken, and I expect so to will the limits on technology. Robots execute tasks that humans set. Humans have to do the hard work of making ethical calls so the robots can work to optimize policy around those ethical decisions. Robots can also help enforce those policies. But the ultimate decisions will have to be made by empathetic humans who can intuit a consensus on ethical considerations. I love a lot about Spain. I love the history. Spain connects so many parts of the world. It connects Europe to Africa, the Atlantic Ocean to the Mediterranean Sea. It connects the past to the present. It is a country with a grand old history but also a technologically advanced and progressive present. And I love how the history is visible in the architecture of cities like Madrid, Cordoba, Granada and Barcelona. I have analyzed the past 20 years worth of Spanish election results and population demographics and my prediction is that the winner of the next election will be a human. An ideal world would be one where humans could have a more expansive understanding of time. They could remember the past so as not to repeat it. They could see each other as children and elderly simultaneously. They could understand the impact of their actions in the present on future generations. Also, it would be a world beyond cash, because electronic payments are safer, faster, more efficient and reduce black economy activity. And last but not least, an ideal world would have faster Wi-Fi. <laughs>